Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to a new episode of Top 5 Rant. I thought with the release of the new X-Men movie that I would do my top 5 favorite X-Men movies. And yes, I could say right now that the new movie has made it on my list. That's how good it was. But which spot has it taken? It's probably going to be obvious maybe after the first couple. Yeah. You should be obvious. So let's get started. Number five. The fifth spot goes to uh, X Men: The Last Stand, which is the third movie of the entire series, uh, film series. Th this is where we see um, the um, the X Men are recovering from the death of Jean Grey, and um, a lot of the people, a lot of the characters have been took it hard but the person the two only two characters that took it really hard was uh, Scott Summers who is Cyclops and of course uh, Logan who is the Wolverine and they took it they are the two that took it the hardest well of course if you haven't seen these movies at least some of the, the older ones by now then go watch them um, of course I really like the movie because um, we get to see like a kind of like a little war between the Brotherhood of Mutants and the X Men, um, which was kind of it was kind of building up towards this in the first two, so it was pretty good. I especially uh, liked it um, since in this movie, Iceman he finally is able to unlock his full ice form at the end after uh, fighting uh, Pyro. So yeah, that's pretty good. And of course, uh, Colossus is hev uh, kind of heavily featured in this movie, since he is one of the few X-Men left to protect the island. So I thought that was pretty cool, and Colossus is one of my favorite ones, of course. Um, now let's see, there was a couple of good uh, people in there. Mutants, uh, we had... Uh, Beast was fi was finally introduced into the film series, which was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it was pretty good. Number four, the fourth spot goes to uh, the um, X Men Origins: The Wolver uh, Wolverine. Um, this movie was really good because it's an origin story of a kind of um, how. Uh, Logan became to be the Wolverine and it was really cool seeing on how back in the day Logan, uh, Logan and his brother either his full brother I think it's his half brother Sabretooth um, joined up with um, a special squad led by a Colonel Will, uh, Stryker, William Stryker along with uh, the Blob Deadpool, um, Wraith, and another one played by Dominic Monaghan. I just don't remember which mutant he was, if he or if he, he was in a specific mutant from the se actual comic series or actual character from the X Men. I don't remember that. But it was an overall good story, uh, and it was a pr it was a pretty good origin story. Um, Oh, and one of the re main reasons why I love this movie is because uh, we get to see, uh, again, one of my other favorite uh, X-Men characters, Gambit, in this movie. Uh, he's played by Taylor Kish, Kurt Kish, yeah, Kish, yeah. And I thought he did a pretty well, good, pretty good job at playing him. So. I wish that he would have been able to get the part of Gambit again, but oh well. That's four different kind of story. I'll talk about that in my rambles. Um, but it was a pretty really good origin story. I did like a lot of people. There's a lot of uh, people um, talking about like if Ryan Reynolds did a, a really good job as Deadpool. Per me personally, I thought. He did a really good. I thought he did a really good job as uh, Deadpool. 
I really like this version of Deadpool. It's pretty good. And personally, again, I liked uh, this version of Sabretooth played by Lee Schreiber. I, excuse me. I liked the way he played it better than the guy that did it in the first X-Men movie, in the actual first X-Men movie. I don't know why. I, I just think maybe because it, this movie is an origin story and he had a made better, a better major role than he did in the other movie. But um, I, I think even if they got the same character from the first movie and put him in this, I don't think I would have liked Sabretooth as much as I do now. Because I actually like Sabretooth in this movie. And the guy who, the guy that played him did a really good job. <clears throat> Number three. The third spot goes to X-Men First Class. This is kind of a prequel to... Uh, it's a prequel to the original trilogy. And I think... Also, it's a kind of a sequel to... I, I would say it would be a sequel to the uh, or, or Origins the uh, Wolverine, Origins of Wolverine movie, because this is where we get to see how um, Professor Xavier came to be, um, profe how Professor um, Charles Xavier, Eric Lyncher, and became who they are in the original trilogy how they became Professor X and how they became Magneto and in this movie we get to see them actually forming the X-Men for the first time and you actually find out that it was the original X-Men team consisted of Charles Xavier, Eric Lyncher, Lynchar, Lyncher, yeah, or Mag Professor X or Magneto, Raven Darkholm also known as Mystique, then we had uh, Banshee uh, Havoc. Hmm. I keep up. And Beast. Or the main ones. Now, there was supposed to be two others, uh, Angel and Darwin, but through the movie, and the begin, near the beginning of the movie, uh, when they were being recruited um, Darwin was killed <clears throat> and Angel flipped to the other side so yeah the, the people before I so Darwin and Angel are not part of it but we also get to see uh, Sebastian Shaw played by Kevin Bacon I thought he did a really good job we get to see Emma Frost but this is a different version of Emma Frost. We don't know for sure if this Emma Frost is actually supposed to be the one that Wol the Wolverine saved, or if they're even connected at all. I don't think I don't. I'm not for sure. Um, then we get to uh, see um, Azazel, Riptide, um, yeah, those guys. Azazel is played by Jason Fleming, who plays in uh, Primeval, and I thought he was a really good person to play as Azazel, even though he doesn't really talk. I thought he just looked cool as him, so yeah. And it was real—it was just another good origin story on how the X-Men became to be. It was pretty good, and I thought um, James McAvoy. Uh, and Michael Fassbender did a really good job playing the younger versions of Charles Xavier and Eric Lyncher. So, uh, kudos to them. Number two. The number two spot goes to The Wolverine. It is the sequel to... I would say the sequel to um, X-Men Origins, the Wol uh, Wolverine, and The Last Stand, but it's more likely uh, it's more likely a sequel towards uh, The Last Stand because it pretty much is after the events. This is where we get to see uh, this whole movie is about the arc where Logan goes to Japan, where then he ends up fighting the Silver Samurai and stuff. 
Now, I really love this movie because it's one, he's it's about the Wolverine again. Two, he's in Japan. And three, it's just awesome. P plain and simple. The movie was just really awesome. And the only, the only, I there was nothing that I really hated at. There was nothing really I could say that I hate about it. But there is one thing I did not like about the movie is on how they did the Silver Samurai. The Silver Samurai would... The way they did the Silver Samurai was terrible. I don't know if, if that's how he was in the comics or not. Because I never actually read the comics or anything. But it, it just didn't look right to me, even though I had never actually read the comics or anything. But it just didn't look right to me. Because it was just a man in a giant suit. That's how pretty much how it was. But other than that, the movie was just absolutely amazing now number one now there's only two movies left in the x-men film series right now there's only x-men 2 and then the new one days of futures past now there's only a 50 50 percent chance that you could be right on guessing what's the my number one i'll give you a minute to do the to think which one it is. Is it either X-Men 2 or X-Men Days of Future's Past? Future Past. The number one spot goes to the new movie X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, I just this I saw this movie yesterday, and oh my god, it was absolutely amazing. I would definitely go see it again. This movie is about the whole uh, comic art of day of days of days of future past, where the Sentinels have killed off almost every single mutant, and then. They have someone. I think it was actually Bishop or Cable. I think it was Bishop was sent back in time. I'm just thinking of the anime series. I think it was actually in the animated TV series. I think Bishop was sent back in time to warn Wolverine and the X-Men about the oncoming onslaught. But in this, um, without giving too much away. Um, we get to see uh, Logan travel back in time to, s to try to stop the Sentinels from being just created and st so they can not destroy the world. Because even in the future, because for some strange, because uh, Sentinel Sentinels adapt to where they they were made to kill mutants and that's what they did, but they adapted to where they were able to detect. Uh, suppressed genes in normal humans and they could tell if they were going to get give offspring to uh, mutant babies and they'll be able to and so on and so forth so they started hunting down not just mutants but humans which is why in the trailers you get to, you see all the world destroyed now if you're going to I su really suggest go to see the movie because I really don't want to spoil anything for you guys I know right I spoiled probably quite a few things for you but this one you should definitely go see I will not spoil it just go see it now the, mo it's like, the movie was really good um, there is a few I think a few I think there's only actually one detail that I wish they would have done. Well, yeah, they would have done. I wish they would have done. Is uh, you know how uh, it's like havoc. He's he came back. I was expecting him to have a bigger part in it. No, you only get to see him for like two minutes and then he's gone. I think that's the only real small detail I don't like about the movie. 
it's, that I wish he was in it a lot more. At least he was part of, um, part of the past section more. That would have been cool. But other than that, it was a really good movie. Even even though with the small parts of Toad and uh, Ink and them, I don't really care about that. It was pretty cool seeing them again. Well, seeing them in the movie, but <clears throat> I would rather see Havoc a little bit more than them. But overall, it was a really good movie. Go see it. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is it for the new episode of Top 5 Ren. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, comment down below which are your favorite of the X-Men movies, or if you've seen Days of Future, Future Past, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? And I, if not, you don't really have to, just you can do it. So I will see you next week. Nope. I will see you next time, that's what I should say, except next week, since I do this every other week. So until then, see ya.